producing biochar is a powerful carbon capture method which stabilises the carbon content of organic matter. Things like forestry waste can be chopped up, dried and then baked at over 450 degrees Celsius, recycling the wood gases for heat and leaving you with just the carbon in a stable form. Our pure biochar is a perfect soil amendment on its own, with its micropore structure improving soil aeration and its capacity to store water and nutrients. But we thought, where could you collect lots of nutrients? And that led us to eutrophication, which is a fancy word for describing a lake that's suffering from nutrient pollution. So we thought, why not collect those problem nutrients and use them to grow more food? So with the help of our partners at the University of the Highlands and Islands, we began engineering a biochar to do just that. We recently trialled our activated biochar at Scottish Waters Development Centre, with results now highlighting its ability to harvest key nutrients from wastewater and improve the overall quality of the water itself. This biochar, now filled with nutrients, can be used within a food bank farm to grow more fresh fruit and vegetables and improve local access to healthy food. Biochar has the potential to tackle many of the social and environmental issues we face today, from responsible waste disposal to achieving our net zero ambitions, from tackling nutrient pollution to improving food security. We believe our biochar circular economy can help create more connected, caring and climate conscious communities. The Prebiotic Company are the creators of IO Fiber Water, the UK's first prebiotic water. We collaborated with Glasgow Caledonian University to understand how our water impacts the growth of beneficial microbes that are associated with health benefits in humans. Commonly called probiotics, these microbes are important for functions such as the synthesis of vitamins in the body. Prebiotics, on the other hand, are special fibres that feed probiotics, giving them the energy to proliferate and grow. As the UK's first prebiotic water, it was hypothesised that IO fibre water would facilitate probiotic growth. And with the work of the GCU food science team, it was shown that IO fibre water significantly increased the growth of probiotics, therefore demonstrating the potential of IO fibre water as a beverage to support beneficial microbial populations, as well as the suitability for adding probiotics to IO fibre water for the creation of a new pre and probiotic beverage. Hi, I'm Dr. Tim Peacock, lecturer in History and War Studies at Glasgow University and co-director of the Games and Gaming Lab. I'm also principal investigator for project Minecraft Ellisland. Working with the Ellisland Trust and with the Glasgow University Minecraft Society, Minecraft Ellisland is a historical, research-led recreation of Robert Burns' farm at Ellisland in Minecraft. Through Minecraft Ellisland, we have had a research-led historical recreation of Robert Burns' farm in Minecraft, opening up this heritage to new audiences around the world. We hope that the research from Minecraft Ellisland will inspire new ways of communicating these cultural treasures in the years to come. <laughs>